Today we're gonna build a house in The Sims, but every room is two different aesthetics. I have so many, one could argue too many, aesthetics on this wheel, and for our exterior we are going to be doing Nightcore combined with Dark Academia. Would I say that those aesthetics go with the shell I've already made? Absolutely not. But do they go with each other? Kind of. I think maybe I'll do this exterior trim from high school years because it is kind of that like academia vibe. If you want to add a trim in between the roof piece and like the level of your house, it normally won't let you, but all you have to do is take this flat square roof piece or whatever size you want and just extend it the length of the roof. And now that the game thinks that there's another floor on top of that, it'll let you just place the trim all around. I might go with a metal roof, almost as if it's like the metal in the suit of the night. I love this hidden bookcase door when we're going dark academia. Maybe we can put it here and just looks like a bookcase from the outside. My thing with using these fancier windows is I don't want it to really super affect the aesthetic of the inside rooms. Like now that I'm thinking about this door, it's gonna look like that from the inside too. Why is this lamp post here. I can't even like delete it with the tool mod, I don't think. I'm really smart for putting the door right in front of the lamp post, huh? This lantern from Cottage Living could kind of be dark academia vibes. Is the dead trees too much dark for dark academia? I just imagine you walk out your front door and immediately into the light pole. Like the one time in the fifth grade, I walked straight into a brick wall and broke my glasses. <laughs> I just wanted to line up. I think that's it. That's our exterior. Wait, we can't have nightcore without our night. Oh, my bestie. Should I just hide night? like everywhere here in the landscaping. You literally cannot give me nightcore and expect me to do anything other than this. But that is going to be our exterior. Now for the entryway. Preppy aesthetic combined with grunge. I feel like what will be easiest is to do like preppy items with like the darker grunge colors. Though it could be cute to kind of do like dark floors and walls and then popping in like some light pink for the preppy. I feel like this mirror is the perfect combo. It kind of looks like thrifted, was once polished and preppy, but is now leaning more into the grunge. The worn out look on this pot is kind of cool. I'm rotating it off the grid by holding down my alt key and then just clicking and dragging. You do have to be on the Sims 3 camera for that. I forgot to add the coat of arms to the nightcore exterior. What am I doing? Don't mind me just cluttering up my entryway table. Would you consider pastel pop to be like preppy? I wish I could like lower the saturation on these posters. Cause I feel like the poster vibes is the grunge aesthetic, but the bright colors, I'm not sure. What are the hanging bags called? Because they're not called bag. They're not called toe. Lug trio. Oh my god. I always forget that. They never name items, but they should be named in this game. Those ones look pretty preppy. Are we going to get a Sarah Kendall entry without a shoe rack? Yes. Am I still going to add shoes? Yeah. You can take the shoe rack away from the girl, but you can't take the shoes away from the entryway. It makes sense if you don't think about it. I'm just going to push this into the stairs. <gasps> Wait a minute. This is open to below. That's interesting. That's a choice for sure. I think we're going to carry this just because like, it would look weird if we had like an abrupt chain. Ignore the roof thing. There's not much I can or want to do about that. You know what? I didn't realize that I did. I made it so that you cannot get into that room. That's not a weird door layout at all. How did I end up doing that? I literally built this based off a real life floor plan. So this is our entryway with our preppy and grunge aesthetic. Should we do the living area next? Foodie. I was really hoping we'd get that for the kitchen. And futurism. You may be like, is foodie actually an aesthetic? According to the aesthetics wiki, it is. Wallpaper paper from high school years is kind of futuristic vibes. I really wanted to do like a built-ins moment. So I've added these shelves. And what if I stock them up with debug food? This will be our grill shelf. We'll do some corn on the cob and some grilled fruit. Over here, we'll do some serving platters for sure. Ooh, why not some ice cream? Now, hang on a minute. Why can't I click this debug food? Object can't be deleted. Oh, well, that's just gonna exist here now. I want us to have a chocolate fountain as our centerpiece. But it must be placed on specific objects. I'm going to place it on an island counter, size down the island counter, and then lower the island counter with the chocolate fountain on it. So there it is on our coffee table. I feel like this couch is pretty modern, as well as these, like, hairs from Discovery University. The game's about to crash. Oh, she's back, she's back. Oh my god, we can do pizza shelf. We have these pizza boxes and debug. Line them up right like that. That took me too long. But we have our food shelves. We can put our synthetic food rug thingies. Die now. I never thought I'd love you so much as I do right now. We'll put the condiments on the coffee table. And we'll do a little picnic basket. I realize it could be interpreted as like a doomsday prepper vibe with like futuristic industrial metal and then just like stockpiles of food. 
let's move on from that. I made this custom side table by taking this one and you just kind of place it and keep rotating it. I have like four of them right there and the clipping isn't too bad. Put a little food plate on the side table too. Just throw in some utensils and knives by the fireplace. I said the fireplace isn't dangerous enough. Let's throw in some knives. I think I did it. I think this is our foodie and futurism living area. Before we go over to the next room, I wanted to kind of update our exterior to really hammer home the dark academia aesthetic. I'm adding these antique tomes, like this case of books and a stack of books. I was going to do the kitchen and dining separately, but I think it's best to do them together. We're gonna be doing fairy core, combining that with earth core. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Fairy core and earth core are pretty much what they sound like, incorporating the vibes and the whimsy of fairies. Earth core is very much like granola girl. He values loving the earth, loving life. Earth core is also apparently a North American fireplace manufacturer. What if we go kind of whimsy with the wallpaper? Cute little mushrooms. I feel like spellcasters are like tangentially related to fairies, so maybe I'll use some realm of magic in here. I never use realm of magic. I hate that I can't center the range, but that's what we're gonna have to live with. Is it weird if I size up this high school year's trash can and use it as a plant pot for this plant? The dark window does feel a bit out of place, so what if I go ahead and cover that up with a curtain? Never really thought I'd have a use for these wedding stories chairs outside of like a wedding. We have some paintings from Vivian Isabel that I feel like can help us with our fairy vibes and also maybe make the black on the doors work a little better. Haters will laugh, but I'm gonna size down the tooth fairy and just put it right there. We do have this fairy gargoyle. We can't have fairy core without some fairy light. Is there a way I can make these from high school years kind of work for us? Maybe if we just put them over here. Oh, also we can paint the ceiling. If you want to paint the ceiling, all you have to do, go over here to ceilings by tile or ceilings by room. And then once you click whatever ceiling option you want to do, the ceilings will appear. Actually, I'm going to use this grass flooring as the ceiling. This little like fairy mushroom house is so adorable. Oh, something I feel is so earth core is like a tapestry. I just spit. And the last thing I want is kind of like a hanging light maybe. This is literally overflowing with stuff, but here is our fairy core and earth core kitchen dining area. I don't normally do this, but we do have a laundry room. Should we even try to combine two for this one? I guess we can try. We're going to be doing Victorian combined with tropical. How do we do this? Do you have an idea? I don't have an idea. All I've got for us is laundry. I feel like this color of the laundry is very tropical. We can get our koa wood floors for island vibes and our vampire's wallpaper for the Victorian side. We'll do a different wall light on each side to represent each aesthetic. Maybe I shouldn't do candles considering how much your sims will start laundry fires in the first place. On this side, we'll do this item from Island Living. And literally all I want is just like a little rug. Just put that in there. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, that one was just for silly goofy vibes to fill up the room. However, we do have a bathroom down here. We're gonna do wizard core and dull core. I think the vibe is realm of magic, but everything is in the dark swatches. Because dull core, the main description is just like things are dark, dismal, but obviously like realm of magic is more of the wizard core because you become a spellcaster. Look at that sink. Did you know that this item even existed in The Sims? I was gonna do the white swatch of this mirror, but it might not be dull enough for dull core. To be honest, if you did not notice, I did in fact get all of the aesthetics by scrolling down the aesthetics wiki. Like that was my source. That's very wizard core, kind of with the potions. Can't forget our toilet paper. Do we have like a little statue we could add in here? Chicken, giant snail, the bust. Okay, here's what I did. Are you ready to see? I took this founder statue because he seemed like forlorn and dull to me. And I'm putting him in the corner there. And then we have these Jacko hat. And this is where I can get the wizard looking hat. I sized it down and I tilted it with the tool mod so it can kind of look like it has the hat on his head. We are going to collectively ignore the little pumpkin coming out of his shoulder. If you look at it from this angle and then you close your right eye and you close your left eye, it totally looks like a wizard. We can add a magic wand in here for wizardry. So here it is, our wizard core and doll core bathroom. This will be an office skill building room. We're going to be doing frog core and nature core. Oh my gosh, I love this, I love this. My inspiration with this, I kind of want it to be like, you know how if it would be like a rainy day and you had to do stuff inside, you'd bring the vibe of the outdoor activities inside. I think that's what I want to do. So maybe we'll make this a little cabin-y, a little shed-like. I have two words for you, froggy and chair. Frog chair, my beloved. We have a frog rug and we have some frog wall decals. We're gonna get one frog, another right there. Mechanical wart frog. 
That's so big. I thought it would be this size. Let's put him right there. Literally nothing is stopping us from bringing landscaping inside. There are actually no laws against that. Only thing that's weird sometimes is the lighting. But you just have to get past that. Now we can have a cute little sitting area right there. We really do make indoor plants for a reason, but why would I need to use that? I'm really so committed to using one item from Batu every build. Sometimes we get more. We were supposed to make this an office slash skill building area, weren't we? This room should actually have a purpose. Well, we will get a bookshelf so that you can build your skills by reading. I mean, yoga is fun to do in nature. What if we got a yoga mat? Add our little incense. I'm gonna size down Bigfoot with my left bracket key and place him on to this stump. I feel like that's a bit more of like a cute aesthetic. I want my vine curtains. Oh, how perfect. I think we deviated from our rainy day inside original concept. I wanna be so honest with you. I'm really anticipating some, oh my God, you didn't paint the ceiling comments. Not just on this video, but probably in future videos as well. I need to let you know that it's literally because I forget. It's because I forget that we can do it now. Yes, I am overjoyed that we can do it now, but sometimes my brain just doesn't go there when I'm building a room. Anyway, this is our frog core and nature core room. Okay, bedroom number one, new money combined with jungle. The reason I put new money on there is because the first thing that comes to mind when I think new money in The Sims is get famous. Like the new money aesthetic is kind of like leaning into the stereotypical like people who have a ton of money but like don't have a lot of like taste or like ways to spend it. I wanna do this bed, but the thing is if I put it there, it's not gonna be functional. What I'm gonna do is hold down my alt key and just bring this out ever so slightly because you can't really notice it. I wanna do the banana leaf wallpaper to kind of be more jungle-y. And obviously we literally have the jungle adventure pack. Why not also do the jungle adventure mirror? Who is stopping us? I think our plants will really hammer home the jungle vibes here, except the lighting on this one is absurd and atrocious. I don't know why it's like that. Oh my God, the T-Rex skull display. I don't know if that feels particularly new money, but it's 2000 simoleons, which is kind of expensive in the Sims. Void bop. Oh my gosh, maybe they're like a void bop simillionaire. Simoleonaire? And that's their new money. Yes, cheetah print rug. I don't know how you all feel, but I feel like this really encapsulates spending money just to spend money, like the excess of it all. We did kind of start this challenge in a serious manner, but we've really gone downhill since then. But here it is, our new money and jungle first bedroom of the house. Next, let's do this bathroom and we are going to be doing clutter core and cabin core. I think we actually can make this work. Certainly cannot do cabin core without our new log siding from the new pack. Look at this new shower that we got. Look at all the cute little shower curtain swatches. So here's our main layout. My actual idea with this is obviously since we got clutter core, I wanna give us some shelves for said clutter. Obviously we need the bathroom clutter kit. Load her up everybody. We're getting everything. We're getting bath fizzies. There's not even a bathtub in here. We've got one shelf done. Overlapping rugs, of course, cause why not? Oh, we've gotta get our little like shower caddy thing. We'll put that in the shower. Let's just do our little uh, sea life decal. Not really that it goes with our theme, but it is from the bathroom clutter kit. And I would like to use as many items as I physically can from the bathroom clutter kit, including this toilet paper. I'm gonna size down our little shelf, size down the other one. We have our perfect towel rack. We have our messy towel rack. We need our little wall light and a candle. This is our clutter core and cabin core bathroom. I did use every single item from the bathroom clutter kit in this one. So going to our second bedroom, we're gonna be doing Halloween combined with minimalism. All right, the reason I put Halloween aesthetic on there is because we have spooky stuff packed. However, minimalism makes that a little difficult. I would like to use everything from the spooky stuff pack, but we're gonna have to keep it minimal. Oh, I forgot we don't have a bed. This bed is very minimalism. Let's do that. That kind of fits with our vibe. What's our most minimalism wallpaper? I don't think it's this one. That somehow has more ghosts. I mean, it's definitely spooky with the curtains. We'll do some spooky chairs, but also minimal. We'll do a minimal amount of spooky chairs. Maybe it was so minimal, like so barren, that the cobwebs started growing. Our bedside lamps of our little ghosty boys. I'm gonna hang a lantern in each of the windows. I don't know why. I feel like someone's gonna comment it. So before you do, I know that minimalism is not just beige, okay? That is simply the color scheme I have chosen for this room. This is total whiplash from Cluttercore. I haven't put a single computer in this house yet, I'm gonna give us the slablet in here. Listen, you can't really tell when I put it under the bed, but we're gonna use this spooky stuff rug. Really give you those Halloween vibes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't wanna give us too much wall decor either. We'll do our little picture and that's it. So this is our second bedroom. There's not a lot of stuff in here and that is on purpose. Our main bedroom of the house, we're gonna be doing tiny core combined with steampunk. There's kind of two ways to look at tiny core. One way is we shrink everything down and everything, all of the items are tiny. The 
other way is we size everything up because one side of tiny core is having comically big items so that you seem tiny. Or so I've read on the aesthetics wiki, I have a little bit of an idea. The thing is, we're also doing steampunk, so I want to keep with that aesthetic as much as we can. <laughs> So we're gonna have a little bookshelf area over here. For the steampunk vibes, I'm gonna get us some bricks on the wall. I don't really know for the flooring. Before you say anything, your sims will scoot. What if I size everything up by like 1.1? Just like a little bit bigger than normal. This is so weird. Literally everything is just slightly bigger. Except this, that is comically bigger. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you to ignore what's happening over here. I wanted the aesthetic, but I wanted the stuff sized up. This dresser is already huge. And I'm gonna size it up even more, everybody. For our steampunk vibes, we will get some pipes in here. Please forgive me for like any inaccuracies in the steampunk department. It's not something that I really claim to be knowledgeable in. I will however add a comically large lamp and I know steampunk isn't just industrial either so I'm not trying to lean us like too industrial. I feel like we need reference items so that you can really see how big this all is. But this is our main bedroom of the house which is steampunk but with tiny core principles of making everything big. Be so honest. Am I losing my mind? Is this like too silly goofy should I stop and now for the main bathroom hippie aesthetic and rainbow core why does that kind of work everyone literally reaches to click off the video as soon as I start bringing out these floors from spa day like everyone hates them so much but what if I told you it's not gonna help by the time you're watching this I've already filmed the video no because that kind of looks good we do on our walls that one's like kind of fun psychedelic A psychedelic switch oh my god we shouldn't do it we shouldn't do it hippie is definitely more earthy than like what I'm doing here. I'm kind of going more psychedelic. I feel like they both kind of fit though. I want Chipotle so bad. What if we do that? You know what? That has a peace sign. And over here we'll do a tapestry, but we'll size that down. We'll take little rainbow fish bestie, put that above the door. But then what goes over here? Our rainbow core room is significantly lacking purple. So maybe we'll do some purple. Yeah, with our little like towels in there. Perfect, perfect. For some strange reason, I thought that this was going to look good. This house, I really debated. I was really way more in the mood to just do every room as one single aesthetic. But the people have been asking for this one specifically. I felt like I could not deny you all of that. But I think I do still owe you a proper every room is one single aesthetic part two. There is a higher likelihood of that house actually looking good. And the most important item in the rainbow room is of course pride flag. Have to add that. We do our little rainbow spotted rug. I think we're silly goofying too close to the sun here. But I'm gonna add that rug. There's always room for the authority. I feel like I did not go as hard on the hippie aesthetic as I should have, but we had fun. This is our hippie and rainbow core bathroom. And now we have our backyard. We don't have a lot of space though. We're going to be combining fantasy combined with mold core. Mold core, everybody. What if we did our cute little cloud flooring out here for fantasy? Except also we have mold stains everywhere. I can't believe I actually put that on the wheel. I started filming this and I made the wheel two days ago. So I kind of forgot that I put that on here. I feel like we've done enough on our mold core aesthetic. Now I kind of want fantasy. So we're gonna add in some mushrooms, a wishing well. We obviously need our little bug light. I feel like we need the clock. Look at these flowers. These are from Get to Work that you can find in Debug and they're so freaking cute. I'm just gonna like layer them around like they're kind of flowing through the air. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There's not much to do in this backyard, is there? Oh my God, the giant cauldron. Absolutely need that. Is this giving fantasy? Oh my God, when you go to nighttime, the flowers kind of glow. That is in fact everything to me. I think the last thing that we need, say it with me now, is some string lights. Do I think it looks like a mess? I certainly do. But do I love what I've done with the flowers? Is just that enough to give me the fantasy of it all? It is. And we're just gonna forget that we also had mold core for this because why would we remember? If you did make it all the way to the end of the video, now is the time for you to comment birdhouse because look how cute that birdhouse is. I'm gonna link my original version of this challenge where I just did one aesthetic per room on the screen right now. I feel like that one's a little bit better. But if you wanna stay tuned for more Sims builds, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below. If you wanna hang out with me live, follow me on Twitch. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!